Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. Hello, Rafa and Trace Martez. It's been a minute since we last saw them in Season 7 of The Clone Wars, but the sisters from Level 1313 on Coruscant are back. The most recent episode of The Bad Batch, titled Decommissioned, saw the Martez sisters and The Bad Batch hunting for a tactical droid with vital information that was set to be destroyed in a decommissioning plant of sorts on Corellia. At the end of the episode, we learn that Rafa and Trace were working with someone who was trying to take down the Empire, and after Hunter gave Rafa a dad rod with the copied information from the tactical droid, we saw Rafa and Trace contact that individual to inform them that they acquired the tactical droid data from Corellia with help from rogue clones. Whomever Rafa spoke to was not revealed, so who exactly was she speaking to? Rafa told her astromech droid R7 to patch him through so she could contact them, signifying that the individual she was reaching out to is a male, and my first thought was that it may very well be our homeboy, Bail Organa. The Bad Batch is currently taking place in 19 BBY, the same year as Order 66, and we know that our homie began working to create what would eventually become the Alliance to Restore the Republic almost immediately after its fall. In the Ahsoka novel, it was revealed that Organa went on to build a resistance movement that helped form some of the earliest organized resistance groups by using the power and wealth of Alderaan. Furthermore, Organa's resistance movement tried to be aware of reports and rumors throughout the galaxy on rebellious and insurgent activity, looking for successful independent resistance groups that might have indicated a possible ally or even a surviving Jedi. If Rafa was indeed speaking to Bail, it would make perfect sense as to why the Martez sisters were attempting to capture the tactical droid. As stated in the episode, tactical droids had intel that could help fight the Empire's clone army since tactical droids were used to fight against the Republic's clone army in the Clone Wars. On top of that, knowledge of a group of elite, enhanced, rogue clones would be very important and useful information to Bail and his burgeoning resistance movement which could totally use the Bad Batch on their side. Additionally, Organa's resistance movement eventually maintained a network of secret agents known as Fulcrums, which was an idea proposed by Ahsoka Tano, who was probably the most notable Fulcrum agent. If Rafa was speaking to Bail, this could potentially open the door for Ahsoka to appear in the Bad Batch at some point, which signed me the hell up for. That might be a ways away from happening, however, as the Ahsoka novel revealed that the former Jedi didn't start working with Bail until 18 BBY and and was in hiding from 19 BBY to 18 BBY. Rafa, Trace, and Bail are all connected to Ahsoka, and Ahsoka could have been the individual that connected Rafa and Trace to Bail. Including Bail Organa into the series makes a lot of sense. Not only would this give fans an opportunity to see him work towards building his resistance movement, but Bail's inclusion in the series also opens the door for Ahsoka to appear. His inclusion would also provide an opportunity for the Bad Batch to aid in the buildup of the Rebel Alliance, which would be pretty dope to see. This could also provide an opportunity for fans to potentially get to see Saw Gerrera working with Bail Organa, Mon Mothma, and other rebels since Saw has already appeared in the series and has already begun his resistance against the Empire. We do know that Saw worked with the Rebellion for a time but eventually split off as his tactics and ideals were too hard-lined for rebel leadership. At this point, my money is on Bail Organa being the person Rafa spoke to at the end of Decommission. Not only would his inclusion make a ton of sense since we know Bail began building a resistance almost immediately after the Republic's fall, but this would also provide the Bad Batch with an opportunity to aid in the creation of the Rebel Alliance, as well as provide a pathway for fan favorite Ahsoka Tano to possibly appear at some point in the series. Whomever it was that Rafa spoke to, I can't wait to see what happens next in the Bad Batch and where that will take the story. But what do you guys think? Who do you think Rafa was speaking to? Let us know down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button button and making sure you subscribe. Follow the channel on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at Dan's on Fandoms. Thanks for watching and stay nerdy.